Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique. And today we're gonna to be making a track or starting a track using Instacore 2. And along the way, learn a bunch about this incredible MIDI production tool. Instacore 2 is the second iteration from WA Production and it's got a lot more baked into it, specifically the piano roll or the MIDI editor. You can now do it right inside of the plugin. And of course you can drag and drop it right out. There's a lot more baked in here, but I figured the best way to give you an overall sense of this is just to go ahead and create something like this. So that's what we're gonna make, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So the first thing we do is decide our chord progression over here. Now, the highlighted ones are the white keys, and the darker ones are the black keys on a keyboard. You need to make a decision if you wanna stay on all the white keys, then you need to set your chords on just those highlighted ones. Now, a really easy way to get a chord progression is just to generate one down here with the AI. So if I come into something like G minor and I hit generate, it's gonna give me four chords here. I've got G minor nine, G minor nine, C minor, D minor seven. If I like those, I can add those to chord A. There are chords A and chords B. So you can have up to a 24 chord progression, but we're just gonna leave it on chord A, assign those to chord A, and you'll notice that when I use that feature, it actually puts those on the black keys. If you want to not use the black keys, you've just gotta move those. So for example, we've got four chords. So if I wanna move the D minor seven to this one, minor seven, and then change that to D, and then we can move C minor to this one. So this would just be uh, C minor, and we can turn this off if we want, and we just need to duplicate uh, G minor nine, so G minor, all right, and then we can turn that off. And now just my white keys will trigger these chords. All right, and as I hit those, you'll actually notice right here, these are the chords that are gonna be used by whatever pattern we set over here, or whatever chords we set over here. Again, we can use AI generation to make something. We're actually not gonna hear anything because it's not routed to anything. I'm actually gonna take my Instacord and send it into pigments. So inside of Ableton Live, I'm just gonna take Instacord 2, Instacord 2, set it to in. And now that that's hooked up, if I trigger a pattern, it's going to trigger whatever we have uh, selected over here. So if I select the second chord, which was my G minor nine again. Actually, let's go to the third one, which was the C minor, and again, play that pattern. You see how that works? So what we can do here is essentially, again, just use the white keys and generate some different chord progressions. And we can do that as many times as we want. or we actually have a ton of presets right up here on the top. So we've got arpeggios, strums, and riffs. So what I'm gonna do is actually come in here, select the first one, come into riffs, and see what that sounds like. All right, that almost sounds like a arpeggio. So let's check out strum. Cool, I like that. So let's go up to the next white key and come into strum and choose B. And these patterns that have, you know, A to H in this case are actually progressions of complexity. So we go from this to this. And if we come up to the next white key and come into strums C, And this is a pretty straightforward process here. And remember, I'm just staying on the highlighted ones so I don't have to worry about the black keys. Great, and come into eight. And after that is E. Nah, let's see. Perfect, so now we have that all set up. What we can do is with our keyboard is trigger a chord 
and play the pattern and then trigger the next chord. One last thing I want to tell you before I go ahead and record a little bit of MIDI here is I'm using a 24 key keyboard. So I only have two octaves to work with. And because I've loaded my chords in chords A and I have my picks or my different patterns on uh, picks A, you'll see that this is actually three octaves away and I only have a two octave keyboard. So what I can do is actually come up here and assign it to different. So chords B, I'm not using, so I'm just going to send that all the way down here. And then chords A, I'm actually going to move that up. So now I can actually use my two octave keyboard to trigger the chords A and picks A, and I should be able to actually go ahead and perform something. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. All I'd really need to do is quantize. I think uh, the third section there was a little bit off time. And I'm gonna customize some of the bass notes here, add a sub, uh, which you might've already heard while I was recording, maybe a crash and a little bit of automation. And here we go. Now I have a decent song starter done essentially automatically for me right inside of Instacord 2. Instacord is available already on PluginBoutique.com. So click the links in the video description if you want to check it out. And as always, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.